Hey, I'm Bowen. We are here in Wakefield, Mass. at the Wicked Pizza Pinball Pit. Big thanks to Chuck Webster for setting up the space for us to play Spider-Man from Stur no, oh, from D. Gottlieb and Company from uh, 1980, maybe. Uh, this game has a wide body. Uh, it has an extra flipper on the side and another extra flipper on the other side. So we'll talk a little bit about how to manage it when two flippers are in the same space, as well as a really interesting strategy for playing this game effectively in either competition or uh, in an arcade. If you happen to see this game in an arcade, yeah, right. Uh, we'll also take you through some of the other rules in the game, but uh, mo mainly we're going to focus on skills and ball management. <laughs> All right, there isn't really a skill shot in this game, but the A, B lanes are very important to success. So if you can get yourself over there and get A, you have a nice opportunity here. Now, also, we're going to get that back because of this uh, delightful new board system that uh, a lot of the early 80s Gottliebs have now uh, as a replacement. I think to make it so that some of these games that didn't used to work at all uh, can work again. Now, I've hit A, and along with A, I just did that. And he was like, well, why, what was that? What was that even for? That was weird. Hey, but look at what I got. I got 3x multiplier for that. That's because this in lane is a bonus advanced and 5,000 and advanced multiplier. So I'm getting points and bonus and bonus multiplier for that one shot. And that means I should be shooting that shot as many darn times as I can until I lose the ball. So I'm going to try to get the ball over to the left flipper. And we're going to do that using an alley pass, which is to bring the ball down to the base of the slipper and then fire it into this other lane. There it is. Now we're going to alley pass the other way. And that was a little too early. So, so that one went out of control. Alley pass. Notice you're in control. When you, when you make a good alley pass, you have full control of it. And an alley pass. And alley pass. And alley pass. And why stop? Because, like I said, it's not only... Uh, Bonus X, it's also, that was terrible, terrible flip. But that's the strategy. Get as many of these as collects as you can. And the maximum bonus is 20,000 plus. So you've basically seen the way to play this game. B uh, sets up a different set of rewards. The left in lane is lit. But on this particular machine, it's a little harder to shoot that. It's viable, but it's not as viable. It doesn't mean that you should necessarily go out of your way, but if it's good to get that A, uh, the A will light that up. And notice that that alley pass also created control. Like here, the ball's out of control. Now it's not. Ball's back in control. So that was a control game move there as well. And now I've got A. I can take the A in the right in lane, 3X, 4X, 5X, and that shot, that's a mistake. The reason that shot's a mistake is the ball's out of control now. I didn't need to have the ball out of control at all in order to get good value. I can keep making this, get bonus X, get bonus advances, uh, and eventually build my way out to a whole lot of points here without ever putting the ball out of control. 5,000, 5,000, mistake, 5,000. And it's weird, right? This is really weird. That was a mistake. I should have fired it in the in lane. And same to here. I've got all these shots in the play field. I don't care. I want to put it over here so that I can get this either this 5,000 or I can get a feed to this slipper to hit that 5,000. Um, there are a lot of games like this. Gorgar is another prime example of a game where you can earn more points by alley passing than you can by playing the game the way it's meant to be played. Uh, I know that's terrible, but too bad. You need points, points, points. I also feel bad about this because I am currently ruining the advantage I have over everyone else when I play them on Spider-Man and they don't know what to do. Because uh, frankly, a lot of players who play this game will put the ball into play too much and uh, they won't go for this thing uh, and then they lose. Alley pass. 
Alley pass. Yeah, alley passes are not safe all the time, but they're pretty safe. That should have scored. Ooh, I saw that. Switch trips. Oh, I had that. When you get to 20,000, you will light the bonus collect up here. Uh, and the bonus collect works the way it does in other Gottlieb games. It basically is a reset to the bonus. Uh, there isn't much of a reason to do it right away because the bonus can still collect, but you eventually get to a point where the bonus will stop collecting. Uh, and then you should go for the top hole for the collect. Um, but essentially, we've seen all there is to see on this game. The alley pass skill is crucial here, and I, I encourage you to look for other games where alley passing does as well as it does in this game. Modern games as well as uh, older games. Pinbot is a great example because the extra balls are on the in lanes and the out lanes, and there's no feed, so how are you going to collect that extra ball? You can get it if you get the ball to a trap, and you can alley pass. Well, let's try one more ball here and see if we can get a little bit more out of this. I uh, missed the AB there, so unfortunately I'm in jail. And I'm in AB jail. So just to look at what else you could do if you wanted to, don't do this. Uh, the green lights over here, the one that's uh, solidly lit, will uh, score 10,000 and give you a multiplier. So you can cash in on that, but changing the changing the lit spot is not easy. It doesn't just change automatically whenever you hit something. So this is not really a great strategy, but you can actually sweep those on the backhand uh, and pick off more than one. And yes, you do get something for finishing it, but I couldn't tell you what it is because I don't bother playing the game this way. I'm actually up there trying to get the ball through A. And by getting the ball through A, I can get back to my strategy and rack the multiplier. Uh, I would never do that in a regular game, but uh, I'm just doing it here because why the heck not. What do you get for finishing those targets? This is all drop targets, score 3,000 points, completing right, drop targets, lights left, extra ball feature, spin target, and resets both target banks. Ooh, there's a spin target. I want the spin target. Oh, watch out there. I almost got scissored, uh, which is uh, letting the ball between the two. All right, so two sides there. Now I've got the entire uh, rack of everything lit up. There's 4X, there's 5X. And uh, apparently I just did something good that lit up everything. Um, no, I'm just kidding. What that is, is it's uh, light several shots for uh, multiple bonus uh, awards in one one go but all of that is really unnecessary the only thing you really could worry about is if you're like I need an extra ball to catch up on somebody then lighting extra ball is important and to light the extra ball you complete the swipe bank or don't you know oh, that. all right let's see if I can backhand this guy Oh, it was good. It looked good. Get that. <laughs> Come on, get that. Yeah. Now, I was told this was to light an extra ball. No? All right, well, the spinner's on. Uh, maybe the extra ball is uh, only on some of the time. But um, regardless, I now have 29,000 times 5. And there's a collect bonus lit up there in the, the number two hole in the center. Did I really just say that word out loud? Anyway, um, completing the five bank also lights this spinner. And um, it is a really interesting spinner. Um, sorry, I lost it because it's a thousand and add bonus. So uh, other games like a Hulk have the same spinner and what's crazy about it is you can get your bonus racked back up very quickly by do oh, Okay, I guess it's green globulins here or something um, Game over man uh, 500,000 good score on this machine and It really was achieved in a fairly cheap manner uh, the alley passing and ball control down here, and of course watching yourself on a double flipper to make sure you don't get uh, scissored or trottered, as we say. Uh, don't
those are important skills to, to just watch these flappers and make sure that when you're using them, you use them the right way to get this inlaying up and down. The thing you want to look for on a game to see if it's viable for this is the curve in the lane guide itself. And just try it. Sometimes you can't get it up to the inlane. Sometimes it works cleanly. On some games, you go all the way through so hard that it goes down the outlane or back out into play. Uh, Whirlwind is a game that comes to mind is one where you, you light, the, uh, light the cellar door and it can fly all the way back out to do that. So just add it to your repertoire. Alley passing is uh, a lot easier than it looks. It looks so dangerous, but it's really not that bad. So give it a try and uh, thanks for watching.